All right, back for more Explore Tulsa. Trish, did you hear about the robot who married his fiance? Were all their parts compatible? No, he couldn't resist her. <laughs> In Tulsa, <laughs> the most irresistible robot has to be Joppa. The first time we were ever able to have him perform, it was amazing. Just because I'm presuming that I could be kind of human if I only had a heart. Before the robot came along, uh, we were kind of semi-retired. So uh, we were in the plant business, uh, container business. Uh, my husband had Binding Stevens and then Comia Special Edition and then Comia is over here on 15th Street. You know, I was never a gadget guy, I was a working guy. I worked all the time in my business and that was my hobby. Um, I didn't have personal time until uh, we retired and I've had a fascination for an art form called automata. My husband had an opportunity to go to uh, Cornwall, England and to learn how to make automatas. So Liz and I trekked off to Cornwall, England. We spent three months. I worked with him every day shoulder to shoulder in a 250 square foot sh uh, shop with more machinery than you can ever imagine. But this is automata. And if you get a look at this, there's a lot of tiny pieces. And I was trained to make every piece. The only thing that's not made on this by the artist is the wood. God makes the wood. But um, automata is the beginning of robotics. And if you see everything operating inside there, the cat moves his eyes, he moves his tail wiggling back and forth. And, uh, this is called Warhol's Cat, and that's how it all started. And so we went over there and some friends introduced us to some other friends that built Joppa. When we saw him, Liz and my reaction were pretty similar. We said, we fell in love with him and said, we got to have one of those. So we decided we'd form a company. There'd never been a company that rented uh, uh, entertainment robots, and we brought one in. Ours is the fifth one in the United States. The first one was brought in by NASA. It came in several crates, um, big crates. Fortunately, when we were in Cornwall, they had us take Joppa apart, well, Robothus being apart, and then so we could see how it would all work into each individual crate and then take them apart and then put them back together. So when we when he got here or arrived here, uh, we were able to take him out of the garage, put him up or set him up in here and it worked out pretty well. So we do all the animation, we put the words into him, animate him, do his color changes, eye movements, head movements, and Liz is the critical uh, uh, she's really a producer, so as I'm creating the the thing, she says, no, 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 no. You gotta go back and do this, change this. It's, it's fun and exciting to be able to program him uh, and get him to perform. Uh, the first thing that we thought we would do once we, the robot arrived here, was to learn the program and then try to maybe go to like children's museums or schools. Um, we really thought that uh, young people would really enjoy it. Kids love him. Uh, it is astounding to see the kids play with him. And he has the capability on the kiosk to be able to allow a kid to do performances with him. Uh, so they can type in the words they want him to say, they can move his head, change his colors, and they absolutely love him, and that's the future. Whenever we have, you know, we set up the program, then we transfer it over to him and to see him perform, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's wonderful. <laughs>